morning. Good morning. It's Monday, guys. And Jeff doesn't have work. Right now we're gonna have to we have to take Bubby out to pee and we need to go pick up some dry cleaning. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We're on the way to the BX. We're gonna go get our dry cleaning. Well it's mainly only Jeff's, but yeah. That's all we're doing. And then we're gonna pop by the pool and see if it's not too busy. And if it's not, then we're gonna take a dip in the pool and just um, swim around. Hopefully it's not busy, but it, I feel like it will be because kids are not in school right now. He's back. Look at that stud. Yeah, looks empty. This is a good day. We've been to before in the vlog where we get the really good bibimbap. But yeah, we're just doing that today. Walk in there, it's really hot. But look, is it closed? It's, <gasps> it's freaking closed everywhere. Oh my god, this happened on the weekend too. We wanted Korean barbecue and it was freaking closed. I'm pissed. Why you do this to me? Freaking clothes. We've been defeated again. It's horrible. I think, um, the you never know the closed days of these places. Yeah, they just close whenever they want. So now we're gonna go find something else to eat. Or maybe we should just go home. Maybe it's a sign. Mm, not a sign. <laughs> we're gonna go find somewhere else. Alice, come on. We have to fold clothes. You guys do not want to see this. Have to. No, we have to. Like, it's not even just a... <sighs> Are you ready? Don't do it. It's a nightmare. A nightmare. It's a nightmare. Here we go. Two, two. But, yeah, we have to fold all that. Wish us some luck. done I just have some homeless socks I need to put away but no more big pile of clothes thank goodness and I have all the clothes I need to put away now I need to go to the BX to get like a little drawer thing because my closet is a mess but it has like some space on the, the bottom so I'm gonna get some little drawers to put like socks and stuff in but yeah so I'm gonna go do that. We just got back home from the BX and this is what I got for my closet. I got four of these stackable clear drawers. So I'm gonna put like my workout clothes and stuff like that. Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's very early for me. It's like 9 in the morning, but I normally don't wake up this early. But Jeff has a PT test today, and I'm going to go to the gym with him because might as well get it over with. Do you know? Can you tell them how annoying you were being this morning? Actually, you weren't that annoying, but you were still annoying. Come on. Aww. Good morning, Jeffrey. Good morning. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I just want to get it over with. He's gonna rock it and get a hundred percent. 
No, I won't get 100. Hopefully. I get, <laughs> I'll get over 90 though. Okay. Well, we gotta go get ready and go, and I gotta take Bubby pee pee before we go, okay? with a 95 it's actually pretty uh, but oh, he feels like poop. I had a pretty good workout so I filmed a little bit of it but after I was done else. with the ones I filmed I went and did um, what I do I did some bicep curls I did like two different ones so yeah that's it and now we're going home and we're gonna go have some lunch lunch brunch so we're gonna go get some money so we can go pay our ticket. Why did we get a ticket? Shh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm making a list for Jeff to go into the commissary to buy me some stuff. Hey, babe. Oh. So, we're at the commissary yet again. Um, Jeff and I wanted to have some Japanese curry for our lunch today, so we're picking up a few ingredients that we need and we're gonna make that. And we also need to go pay off a parking ticket we got because Jeff's theory was we can park anywhere because Koreans park anywhere. But I'm sure there's like a, like some hours to it. He's gonna get cash out and we're gonna have to go pay that. But yeah, he did buy everything I needed for curry. Whoa, he bought some big old mushrooms. Let me see. I'm back home. Jeffrey went to go get a haircut at the BX and I'm just back home because I need to put these things away and I just didn't want to be out anymore. It is so freaking hot and disgusting out there. It's so humid here. I hate it. Look, my hair is already frizzy, but I need to turn my fan on. It's so hot, so hot. But yeah, we got a lot done. We paid our ticket. We just... All you had to do is take it to um, a Korean bank and then you just give them money and they pay for it. Hello! Or they pay it for us. Look at this little guy, he's so cute. Oh Juno, you live the life. You live the good life, don't you? He has a little window perch. And it's just like that. And he loves it because he can bask in the sun and take a nap. Look at that little leg. Are you just the cutest? You're so cute, June. Come here, come here, come here. Hello, my little prince. Hey, is that poop? He always gets scared when I ask him. Is that your toy? I'm gonna get it. But also, when we were out, we stopped by the Tony Molly store which is like um, like a skincare brand, a Korean skincare brand. It's pretty affordable, um, but they were having a buy one, get one free sale and 50% off like a lot of their things. So I got some stuff. I got this super peeling liquid foot mask and it's great for if you have like really dry foot skin. So I got two of those because it was buy one, get one free. Sheet mask. I got this one and it's for um, dark spots. It's a whitening mask. So it's for like uh, pigmentation and stuff. And then I got this one for blemishes. So like if you know if you have a lot of pimples or and there's ten in there also. And I got buy one get one free. And originally they're sixty thousand won, so roughly sixty dollars or like fifty something. But it was fifty percent off, so now it's thirty thousand won. And then you got buy one get one free. So I got twenty masks for about thirty dollars. Awesome. Jeff got some cute little Pokemon hand cream. So that's Bulbasaur and this is um, green tea scent. And then I got a Squirtle one. Oh, and this is, I forget the scent. I think it's Lotus, Lotus scent, yeah. And he gave us some free samples. So um, this cleansing towelettes, uh, foam cleanser. And yeah, that was my Tony Moly haul. And I'm excited to try all these things. I'm so excited. And yeah, that's all. And now I'm gonna go 
put all my stuff away and relax. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go make some dinner. And today, like I told you earlier, we're gonna have some Japanese curry with pork cutlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that and I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. It's really easy. I just follow the directions on the box. But you can totally customize it to however you want. And what I like to do is I like to add bacon to my curry just because it's just yummy. But yeah, stay tuned. about done cooking and it should look like this very um thick and stew like wait really no it wasn't yeah so mm, looks just like cocoa then i did add a little bit of milk into it to make it more creamy i'm frying out my pork cutlets and then we'll be ready to eat i'm so excited it smells so good and yeah i'll show you when i'm done It tastes just like Coco's. Well, a little bit. It's really good. Highly, highly recommend it. We will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, they're gonna see you later. Oh no. See you later. Yeah. Later. Bye. We're gonna go do some face masks. Bye. Good morning, guys. Jeffrey's home for lunch and he's just on the phone with his dad. I'm uh, making some breakfast. It's about 11.18, so it's oh, like a late breakfast. Middle of the week, and then tomorrow we have a class, and then Friday we have something super exciting. I will, at least we think it's exciting because we like this person that we're gonna see. But you guys will see it a little later, later here in the vlog, but yeah. Just wanna say good morning. Hey guys, so we're at the gym right now. I know I didn't vlog it like at all today, but I'm gonna be doing a pretty rough workout. Oh, in my book. Um, I got this workout from Whitney Simmons here on YouTube, and she did it with Nikki Blackader, and it looks really good, a really good workout, so I'm gonna try it out. And yeah, you guys are gonna do it with me, and if we fail, we're gonna fail together. Here we go. at all yesterday because it was I literally did nothing all day and then we just went to our class and I don't film in class anyway so um, but today we're gonna go watch um, that chef from Food Network Robert Irvine we're gonna watch him do a cooking what is it like a cooking show cooking, cooking demo here um, on base so that's gonna be fun because we really like him and but we're gonna grab dinner first um, I think we're gonna eat at Chili's. Yeah. Just cause we're running a little short on time and it's right there, so. Yeah, that's what we were doing. Today. I was not expecting it to be this huge. And Jeffrey got a burger. Mmm. Champion of the culinary world! Chef Robert! He picks 
the winner takes it all from ABBA. All right, well, that, what do you mean, really? <laughs> you got to... <laughs> you got to do everything yourself nowadays. <laughs> um, nothing. All right. Hi, <laughs> guys. This is your left. You're going to start with your left and follow with your right. We're going to go behind the table for our station. Go. <laughs> I said you're going to walk. With your left first, followed by your right. Go. There you go. <laughs> this is going to be a rough one. <laughs> go. All right, that's nothing. You can feel nothing there, believe me. We're waiting in line to get a picture with Robert Irvine. There he is. We're so close. Yes. Hold on. He's, he's so nice and he smells so good. Oh, this is zoomed in. But that was super fun. He, he smelled good, huh, babe? I was smelling him. He smelled amazing. Hey. So we're home and we're done with our event of the night and I just wanted to say it was so much fun. Robert Irvine is so nice but it was a blast. He did a bunch of different challenges and he cooked so many good smelling foods and it was just awesome. It was so cool to just watch him in the flesh live and like in all his glory. And he was, he was really super genuinely so nice and he even stayed back to take photos with everyone and sign autographs so that was really sweet of him and we did get a photo with him and i'll probably insert it like somewhere up here but i love him so much i used to me and jeff used to binge watch restaurant impossible all the time when we had cable so it was awesome to see him in real life but anyway we're gonna call it a night and thank you guys so much for watching this weekly vlog again and we'll see you next week.